Hey there Internet, Beaver Chip here again. Um, today we're going to do a tutorial video on a double stacked um, piston for lengths of pistons, so side by side double stacked pistons. Um, this is good for using in collapsible draw bridges like I have here. Um, but yeah, this is an example of what it's going to look like when we're done. Um, so I'm going to cut away and when I come back we're going to build this from scratch. Alright, we're back. Um, I cleared away everything, so now we're left with just the um, sticky pistons that we're going to want to push up. Um, they're double stacked again. If you're just doing single stacks, it's a lot simpler. Um, um, but yeah, double stacked, sticky pistons, and you can go any length you want. We're just going to do three now. Um, and we're only going to do um, one side of these. So you, you can run two by you know, whatever, and we'll show that later. But for now, we're just going to do a 1 by 3. Um, so, first thing we're going to do is link up how we're going to get into our pistons. Um, and for that, we're going to use repeaters. Um, if you want to know why we're not just using redstone, you can check out. I have another video that explains why you can't just run redstone directly into a sticky piston. Um, and then we're going to do the same thing for the second layer. We need some dirt to put it on. And we're going to go a two by, you know, two by three, three, since we're doing three sticky pistons, so that we can lay repeaters and redstone. Um, notice it looks like it's one space too high, but when the lower level is extended, the upper level will be right here, and it'll be perfect place for the repeaters here to power the pistons. Um, some redstone to link them together and coming down the steps. Now we're going to link up some redstone to the bottom level of repeaters, and now we've got um, a way to power both the bottom and the top level of pistons. So using a redstone torch, we'll test to make sure it works. Bottom level works. Top level works. Um, really quick, I'll show you if we don't um, put them, or retract them in the right order. Um, we get this problem where the top layer, top level of pistons um, stays higher than it's supposed to be. Um, so flip them back down. To fix that problem where they hang in the air like that, um, we have to do a special timing system. It looks a little complex at first. Uh, you saw it at the beginning of this video. But when you break it down into the three segments, it's really um, not all that complex. So. Uh, the first thing we need to do is wire up the bottom um, level here. And this is easy enough. It's just going to be two side-by-side -side repeaters wired together and um, a wire coming off of it. This will be where our lever is eventually. Um, so yeah, that's it for the bottom floor. And that's and it's simple. That's all it takes for the bottom level. Um, the top level is a little bit more complex. Um, this is broken into two more segments. So that was segment one. Segment two is really easy. It's just one repeater. Just one repeater and wire it in. And there we go. Um, so segment one, segment two. Um, the third segment is probably the only real complex part of this. Um, this is what the, the original tutorial video I saw on it, he called it a limiter. I'm not really sure how it works, I just know that it works. Um, but yeah, it's the only real complex part of this. Um, so we're going to start off with two dirt blocks with a torch that goes into um, our branch for the top level. And a torch on the outside of the first block. Then we're going to take two repeaters, put one in the middle and one in the back. Again, making sure they're all facing the correct direction, that is, into the pistons. Um, and we'll wire it into our circuit. And then the last thing that this limiter needs is to connect the torch at the end or the torch in the middle. So we'll do on the top and the side. So now this torch is connected along the side and up into this torch at the end. Um, and that's the whole setup. 
I mean, you have your limiter, one repeater, and that together powers the top level, and these two repeaters power the bottom level. Um, so now, the last thing we need to do to make this work is change some settings on repeaters. Um, I recommend just waiting till the end and doing them all at once, that way you don't get them mixed up. Um, the two at the bottom need to be set up with a repeater at level 1, which is the default level, and a repeater at level 4. So it's at 1, 2, 3, 4. So level 1, level 4, that's just a right click in case you guys are new to repeaters. Um, the one the repeater in the middle is going to be set at level 2, so it's default is 1, now it's at 2. And on the side here, um, the first repeater stays at default level 1, the middle repeater up to level 4. Um, so that just changes on the timings of things um, to make sure that the top level retracts before the bottom level. And if we test it with a lever, it goes up correctly, and now here's the real um, trick to it. Does it go down correctly? It does. Up and down. Um, so that's a working double stacked line of pistons. Um, it's pretty much the same setup as the tutorial for a single stack of double pistons. The only thing that I've done with it is run multiple next to each other. Um, so I really haven't added much to this at all. Um, but I really liked his design, and actually his tutorial video is good enough. Um, but if you're looking to make a drawbridge, this is just the extra little bit that helps. Um, so the good things about this design are it's all below the piston level. So you don't, it's really easy to hide this basically. Um, you don't really need to do any wiring above ground or anything. Just dig out a cavern below where you want your bridge. Oh, the sun's going down, so I'll hurry up. Um, and you can push up like that. Um, one more thing, um, I don't like to have just the sticky piston showing, I like to push some stone up to make my bridge. For this you're going to need to use something that follows the rules of gravity, um, especially if you're double stacking them, because um, the sticky piston can only pull one layer at a time. So after they're up, um, the fact that they follow gravity um, makes them fall back down once um, you've retracted the pistons. Um, so yeah, um, that's just one half of the drawbridge. You can do, build the exact same thing on the right half to make a two width a, or a bridge of width two as long as you want. Um, and that's what I did in my drawbridge over there. So we'll go underground real quick and take a look at what this looks like if you build um, two of the same things side by side. Again, it's the same process as the first one, uh, just with two of them. So this is what it looks like above ground. You notice you don't see any redstone, you don't see any piston. Um, you, all you see is the material for the bridge. And oh, looks like someone laid me an egg. Uh, I'm gonna go down. I already dug out a hole down here. This is the cavern I dug out to make my drawbridge. Um, it looks a little complex at first, but you'll notice um, the, the right half is the exact same thing as the left half. So if we look at only the left half, that's what we had upstairs, which is um, two repeaters powering the bottom level. Second level goes into the two branches. One is just one repeater, and the other is the limiter. Um, and it's in its um, up state right now. Um, the last thing I put in was a little inverter. You don't have to have that. Um, I just did that so that when my lever was down, my bridge was down, and my lever was up, the bridge was up. It was opposite when I first built it. Um, then I ran it upstairs. Um, I think he's going up to, that's just under my lever that operates the whole thing. Um, you can make it deep enough that it's not hard to hide things, because you can always run redstone up really easily. It's really hard to hide things when your whole system is near ground, ground level. I can hide it, and there we go. Working collapsible drawbridge.